Ever Space is an action shooter with lots of roguelike elements. It's got stupid amounts of replayability in its current state with ship upgrades, procedurally generated encounters, environmental hazards, and of course they have plans to add even more content to the game later on. The combat using KBM is buttery smooth, just feels amazing while the controllers is kind of weird. And the game is running in UE4, so it looks pretty good. And that's pretty much an understatement. The developers Rockfish basically took the things we loved most about our favorite indie games like FTL, Rogue Legacy, and House of the Dying Sun and put them in a beautiful space sci-fi setting. Then they took the price of all those games and combined them as well. Oh shit. <laughs> no. I was just scratching my eye. How did I hit something in space? <laughs> It does suck, though. <sighs> Double dip. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go through the options menu so you can see what it is that you're getting into and what they have available. You have controls, they have keyboard and mouse controller, but uh, I, controller is very, very difficult for me to use. I don't know if it's because I am dumb uh, and really bad at controllers for some reason, uh, or if KBM is just that much better. Honestly, I think it's the latter because KBM is really, really good. Uh, butter, if you will. Now, uh, just a note, we're actually streaming this whole thing now. I'm double dipping streaming this while recording, so uh, you can't see them, but hi chat. Uh, we're gonna go display, everything max, of course. It's gonna look beautiful. We're gonna point out a couple cool things I think are worth noting with how they designed certain things like the cockpit and all that stuff, the lighting, the glow. We're gonna get really close to ships while we blow them up, and stuff like that. Sound, great. Uh, and uh, game. Camera shakes. If this thing keeps turning off, I keep turning it on, it keeps turning it off. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm gonna turn on just the important only, uh, because I don't know what's gonna happen if I just go just camera shakes on. I don't know if anybody wants just camera shaking on when you don't really know exactly what it is supposed to be shaking. So continue. Now let's go to the actual match here. Uh, or the actual, I call it a, you could call it a match actually. Uh, I have $2,000 to spend. This is from the last run that I did. The money carries over. You could actually spend it on perks. Before we get there, let's go and take a look at the different, uh, all the different planes or the ships you have available to you. We have one. <laughs> now the next ships are coming. Uh, one actually coming very, very soon. We had a dev in chat actually mention uh, recently that he was, uh, that uh, we might get a ship within the next couple of months. So that's something to look forward to. Now you guys know how dev time works. Sometimes the next couple months means the next three to six months. You know, that goes soon, TM, etc. cetera. Uh, and then over here, this fighter looking thing. Obviously the last one was a bit of a, it uh, uh, was a bit of a heavy, right? Kind of a tank. Uh, this one, probably the lighter one. I mean, it's the way the classes work, right? Tank, DPS, and then whatever. <laughs> in the middle, uh, but there's also some ships in the back. Now, one thing that uh, maybe with chat here, actually, this is something that we could probably actually uh, get answered right now. Uh, I've heard word on the street is that cosmetically your vehicle or your ship will actually change as you add perks. So if I go to perks and I choose something uh, like an upgraded shield generator or something, actually, I don't know which one of these perks will actually change the cosmetic look of your ship, uh, but it will actually change the look, the actual uh, physical look of your ship now. I don't know if that's something that uh, maybe somebody in chat can uh, can fill me in on. It'd be great. Uh, but for now, let's see. Let's go ahead and spend this money. Engine, let's go ahead and get the speed. Never mind. <laughs> I can't afford that. <laughs> Boost speed. Uh, increase the speed of your ship while boosting. That's always handy. But wow, only 0.6. Hmm. Only 0.1 increase, I should say. Sorry. Uh, whole hit points. 15. Seeing that's how, that's how you die. That might be something you want to put points into. Uh, let's see, the loot, credit loot bonus, 13%, no, shield generator, increase your shield's capacity. There's one that increases the uh, shield shutdown, yeah, recharge, one of these two. But $1,000 each. You know what, $1,000 each, you can afford both, that would be the best even spend of the money. But man, only 2%? That's not enough. I need, I need device slots. Nah, this is going to throw it into, into boost, whatever. That's good. Uh, let's see, chat's looking it up. <laughs> this is, Google tells me nothing. I <laughs> uh, go to stats here. It shows you what all your stats that you have, and of course your current missions. Uh, I'm guessing you get bonus credits from this. Uh, shoot down 50 floodlights in a single run. I don't know how. That's that seems like it would take forever. Uh, but what would take even longer is destroy 50 fuel tanks in a single run. 
considering every time you attack a fuel tank, you piss off the guys who are neutral to you, and then you have to leave the sector. So I don't know whose funny idea it was to say 50 fuel tanks in a single run, but fuck. Uh, then we have number of runs, 12. That's where I'm at right now. You guys should see this, the Colonial Intercept Interceptor, random name, Eddie Turner. The last one I had, like, Michael Brock or something. Just all these random names they assigned to. Uh, that's where I'm going with here. Via Reddits from, uh, this is from Calrega, it says, The visual upgrades shown in the trailer are in the game. You have to level up the appropriate perks to unlock them, though. So there you go. There you go. I don't know if my ship looks any different now than uh, what it was before I added the whatever perk it was that I selected and I forgot already. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah, hopefully we get like some random events. Because there's quite a few of them. You just jump into a, a zone and uh, it'll just say, oh, such and such is happening. And a little voice will come on and then they'll act all these parts and sell you all this stuff. So let's go ahead and do this now. Take a quick look. So this guy, GMB, these are the uh, the neutral guys, basically. And the neutral guys are great, and they help you out sometimes if they're being attacked. Like, for example, from these guys that are coming. There they are, outlaw scouts, headed this way. Uh, very slowly, but they are, right? Four point seven. No, they're kind of floating around over there. No, over there, drone. So two scouts and a drone. Drones are stupidly easy to take out. They have no shields. Oh, we have more over here. Okay, so we're actually surrounded by guys. Now, there's no mission here. I don't have to actually escort this thing or do anything crazy like that. Um, I can, however, go ahead and mine this scrap. And this is how you mine. You just shoot the shit. That's it. Shoot whatever it is you're trying to mine or collect. And then it'll tell you scrap fully mined. So you don't sit there and shoot it all day waiting for another piece to break off. That's kind of convenient. Oh, the man, the, the the mouse control, everything is just smooth and just, it just feels good. And the uh, the body awareness, uh, we'll call it, for the ship uh, is really, really good. This is actually your ship here. If you want to be in, like, Star Star Fox mode, you could play like this if you want to and just kind of zhoo, 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 and do all that business. But uh, personally, I like being inside of the cockpit because it does have such great body awareness while you're in here. You know how big your ship is. Now that I've said that, I'm probably going to run into something while I'm trying to show off how close I can get to something. Oh, like that. Uh, it'll happen. Trust me. I've actually already blown myself up a couple times thinking, oh man, I could totally do this thing. And then, and then yeah, it doesn't work out. Oh, getting shot. Just want to take a look, see if there's anything in here. Okay, getting shot, getting shot, getting shot. Hold on. Can they come through here? I wonder. No, 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 no. Come on, come on in. <laughs> this is the you know what it is these are those descent skills man coming into hand coming in handy right now oh he's not he's not even gonna try to come in okay where is he jones again easy i want to get close to an explosion so you could see the beautiful just colors and glow and blinding light that occurs whenever you blow one up Okay, let's go ahead and use a scanning probe. I'm sure there's something right in this area and I just don't see it. Uh, there is, right over here. We have a scout. Take this out with our regular guns. Whoa! Get a couple shots on this, again. Switch the Gatling. Gally does a pretty good job of shredding through hulls. Whoops, and I accidentally fired a rocket. Hey, you did the job. And you got to see everything glow. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, and then smoke and everything. Just, just fucking beautiful. Truly is. I can't imagine uh, if you were to have VR and if this were to fully support it. Oh, there was a thing in that container. Awesome. Uh, this would be quite the experience, much like Elite was when I tried it in VR. And I did not want to leave. <laughs> Basically, it's what happened. Okay, so we have a couple of plasma things. Now these, these are the uh, the toughest things to collect. Like plasma fields, man. Like you to collect plasma, like it's just it is definitely an art. You just gotta <laughs> you just gotta stand here and you know inhale, I guess. <laughs> And there you go, fully harvested. Same over here. Another plaza field. 
No, wait, does the plasma field disappear? Oh, I didn't know that. What? We actually... <laughs> or actually, I guess I... There you go. Got it all. Nice. It should make some kind of sound that reflects what it is that you're collecting. Like plasma. It should make some kind of... I'm listening. I don't hear it, but like... Some kind of like vacuuming sound or like some kind of induction. Something. Something that like collects through some kind of vacuum system. And I, I'm saying that in space, right? Like, I understand what I'm saying, but... But still, there should be something like, if I, for example, if I mine scrap, I should be able to hear the scrap kind of bouncing around or something like that as it's being pulled into the conveyors or something. But now it's cool. It just goes... Burr -run, burr -run, burr -run. Mineable crystal, yeah. Oh, we got two of them here. Interceptors inbound, upper right corner there. Again, just shoot it. Shoot it and says there's no more. Two items can be crafted. Good, perfect opportunity to show off the crafting system. Uh, there's guys coming in, so. Ah, yes, no, this is good. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought that it, there'd be an upgrade available. There's not. It'd be. Oh, there is. Oh, it's usually yellow whenever you can. Uh, uh, like the upgrade part would be yellow. This is perfect. So, shield damage mod. Blueprints are acquired through gameplay. Uh, when you collect a blueprint, it carries over into your next run. It's kind of like Rogue Legacy, where as you go and you collect things, uh, weapons or like uh, vendors or whatever NPCs, uh, you unlock whatever resources they have available to you. It's the same concept. Uh, it carries over to the next person and the next person. Uh, so that's effectively what's happening here. I got a shield damage mod, a critical hit, uh, hit chance mod, and a critical hit chance mod mark two as uh, just from playing. And now anytime I play, I could go in and and uh, cast that upgrade here. So let's see, same thing. Uh, I don't necessarily have the Gatling. The Gatling, again, is for hull damage. We'll save those resources. Let's see, bad guys incoming. Credits. The most valuable resource. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Whoa, he straight up came in. Can he actually maneuver in here? Yes, he can. Get the shield down. And then switch. There we go. He dropped some fuel, which I don't need right now because I have not done any jumps. Let's go ahead and just... Whoa! That was quite the turn. Ah. Woo, pretty. Oh, and I lost him. <laughs> I'm gonna go head on with one of these guys. That's gonna be the end of the ra the, the the run. Jesus. And he's back to full. You know what? How about we just... How about we just... Couple of these, couple of these. Get that shield down. He's gonna head right for me. That's fine. Oh! <laughs> Woo, man. And fuel. We're again, useless. So, we're good. GMB Life Fighter. There's some stuff nearby. What is a container? Drop credits. Usually these guys drop a pretty significant amount of credits. Right now, how many do you have? 464. Ugh. I'm also in the first area. I have not even left this first area. See how much stuff you could do? Just in the first zone? Crystal fully mined. Alright, now let's now let's go ahead and jump. Some light fighters over there, we're not worried about them. To jump, it's easy. What is that thing? Oh, fuel. Yeah, yeah. Jump, simple. Look at it for a few seconds. And... What the fuck is this? Holy shit! Oh, man! <laughs> that was like an outlaw mothership or something that just happened to jump in right as I was leaving. If I'd stay there any longer... If you look, if you, if you rewind on the VOD, on the thing, if you rewind just a little bit, you can see that whenever you take damage, it will, 
uh, reduce, it'll actually slow down or stop or even reduce your your warp percentage. So that was, uh, I was taking damage uh, when that guy rolled up. So he came in like guns blazing, just ready to take me out. And that was, uh, and that was it. So, whoo, that was a shocker. So uh, here we go, sector map. This is the FTL side of things. Uh, the way it works is you have sectors you can go, to go through until you reach the end, which is over here. Uh, and this is where the warp gate is to go to the next sector. Uh, we'll call these actually zones, sorry. So I uh, I have an upgrade that allows me to scan the next sector and tell me if or the next uh, zone and tell me if it's uh, what the risk is. As I upgrade that scanner, it'll tell me also if there's a trader there. And the next upgrade is probably going to tell me, I don't know, something else and something else. So over here, where it says low and risk, low and uh, medium risk, uh, I believe that was not something that was there when I first started playing. It was just position and jump gate, and that was pretty much it. Uh, so for the sake of this video to make it uh, interesting, we're going to go head head over to the medium risk position. Uh, obviously, by way of this travel position here, zone. Man, I, I that that's another another example of like something that I have not seen yet. Uh, I have like three and a half, four hours in the game so far, and I don't know, like 12, 12 runs. That's it. Uh, but I still have not seen. I must have gone through like at least probably an average of what thirty, or probably a total of like thirty six different zones. I have not seen a, you know, random giant frigate, whatever, carrier just come in out of nowhere. All right, this guy's pretty much wounded. Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Fuck. Oh, a little bit of a shake there. I hear missiles. Oh, and I see shield mark two and weapon override. Whoop, come on. Or overdrive, rather. Where's that? There it is. Okay, shield mark two, perfect. So we'll swap this out, and then we'll salvage the old one. Look at that, upgrades on the fly. Where is the damage booster? That's not the one I was looking for, but I'll take that. That's just a consumable, I believe. The over, there it is. Nice. And this is all things, like some of these items are items from the, the other fighter that I wasn't even involved with. The GMB guys took care of it. So let's see, what is this? Shield Mark II, Weapon Overdrive. Uh, increases weapon's fire rate and damage for some seconds. For some seconds. For uh, 18 seconds, actually. And there's a duration cooldown. Let's get rid of Energized Boost. It's not the... Energized Boost just gives you a, a, a pretty significant boost of speed. Uh, three times speed, you can see what their effect, three times. Uh, to get you out of trouble. It consumes energy, which you're always using. So I'm just gonna, yeah, a, a significant amount of energy to say. 40 energy is actually a pretty good amount. Um, so we'll go with a weapon overdrive. Swap and then salvage the old one. We'll get those materials here. Uh, can I upgrade or build anything else? Let's see. I already, oh, I didn't, that's right. Oh, I could, I could stack it? Oh man, I did not know I could stack them. All right, now find me a guy with shields. Here we go. These guys are fighting somebody. They're probably fighting the this base over here. Yep, outlaw turret. Drop a scrap. Whoa, God. Missile turret has to go. Take this guy out, come on. You know what? This guy, I don't know why I'm using that. I should use this. Damn thing shreds through this stuff. Subroutine daredevil. What is all this crap? I've never seen this. Okay, what is this? Subroutine Daredevil. Weapons no longer require energy and deal 24% more damage, but your shield is permanently disabled! Oh, oh man. Uh, do I get achievement for using this thing? <laughs> I don't know if I want to use that. Um, weapons no longer require energy and deal 24% more damage, but your shield is permanently disabled. I, there's no way I would last if I did this, but you know what? Let's fucking try it. Let's try it. Why not? Why not? Who needs a shield? Uh, let's swap. Let's go and get rid of that. What happens to Mark II shield? Ah, whatever. We're trying to make this exciting. 
What better way to make something exciting than removing any kind of protections and precautionary measures that the game hands to you and says, Hey, here's a better shield than the one you already have. Why don't you go ahead and use this? It might be a good idea, etc. Nah. Let's just trash it for what? Let's go and get out of this sector. We'll go to the next one. Or this uh, zone. <laughs> this is how we keep the episodes short and compact, guys. We uh, we make daredevil decisions like this. <laughs> Let's see. Travel. There we go. Next one. This is going to be the medium risk. We'll see. Okay. Bad guys. Please tell me they're the Okook. Oh, God. Please tell me they aren't the... Yes, they are. It's always the way it works. Let's go ahead and scan the area, see if we can find anything. Good, they're already here. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get tossed. I'm gonna get tossed. I'm gonna get tossed. I already know it. I have to get creative in this scrap heap here. Yeah, I know! Yeah! Do I have any uh, things to repair? I have nothing, no nanobots, so... Not only are we going in with no shield, but I have nothing to repair anything. Oh, these are easy. Drones are simple. Good. We're gonna have to, we really got to find ourselves some nanobots. Because that is not enough. Okay, what was over here? Is there a container over here? Oh yeah, lucky. And yeah, you could stop and repair anytime. That's not... Re time repair is not a problem, especially when you can just, you know, pause the game like this and make all your adjustments. Yo! Nanobots! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Autobots. <laughs> Mineable crystal. Any resource we could get, take it. Because, especially right now, you could find a trader that will allow you to swap out some of this other garbage you're never going to use for nanobots, which now I need a whole lot of because I have no shield. Because I make really good decisions. Here we go. These guys just like warped in. You can see the tiny little. Warp bubble there, and the flash, that's them coming in. Let them get into a fight with somebody else first before I intercept or intervene. How that lead line is like really far away. He's also a kilometer out. There we go. Compound. Take that. Credits, fuel, good credits. We'll take that. Don't necessarily need a lot of fuel, but I'll take it. Mostly because I know I'm not gonna last particularly long. Uh, and that was it, huh? Just those guys? Okay, let's see, container. I could shoot this container here, but then it'll piss off everybody and I have no shield, which means I will die. So we're not gonna do that. We'll collect this. God, and I, whoa, and I have a weapon overdrive, so I'm good. I'm totally good on if I need to blow all my cooldowns and just if I just need to lust and just fucking take everybody down. I can do that. Let's see. See, like these turrets right here, they would jack my shit up if I chew anything over here. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, no, I can't. Even that floating one. Okay. I think we're good. Let's go and get out of here. It was mineable scrap over there, but. There's a freighter, freighter. Okay, where is my... There it is. We want to the last zone. This is the one where we get to see the warp zone. It takes you to the next sector. The next sector where... Who knows what happens, because it's procedurally generated. And jump gate. It's beautiful. I hear... Those little plink, plink, plink usually mean there's something. Oh, there it is, right there. Yep. This will enhance your weapon damage considerably. Yeah, I know. I like the sound of that. Okay. Let's 
scrap. That has a cooldown, so I could use it again in 30 seconds. I could just use it every fight. Yep, just gonna collect that. Yeah. Crystal. And what else in the area here? So I have weapon overdrive and I have a damage booster. And I have a, the passive. Man, I have so much shit. I should be able to just really just, just fuck someone's day up. If they're sitting perfectly still, actually. Trade items. Here we go. You receive money by giving them stuff. I can get Drone Override 2, uh, Shield Booster 2, or Dark Energy. Uh, I will actually trade everything for money, because that's going to carry over. And I don't plan on living very long, so there you go. And nothing else. Good. 3,300 and some change, so... This is, uh... Ship. Oh, here's something I want to point out. The volumetric lighting that they have set up here. It's not just, uh, notice the sun shining on it. God, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it shines just kind of right across the dash. Oh, man. Pling! Right across the, the HUD. Or this, the inside of my cockpit. Can you call it a HUD? Okay, so there's not a whole lot going on here. I say we go ahead and leave. Get in here, line it up. <sighs> okay. Go through to the other side, turn around, and <laughs> line it up, because apparently this is the entrance. And then you go on to the next sector. And that's it. Yeah, that, that Unreal 4 engine. So good. Or Unreal Engine 4. That's a lot of activity here. A lot of GB fighters. Oh, a lot of guys behind me. Let's go ahead and get over here to these guys. So that way at least I have somebody to help me out. Okay, they already annihilated that guy, but there's more coming, so... Here they come. They're already actually engaged, so let's see. I can just kind of get involved. Let me get close. No, nothing. That's the, uh... Why don't I go across this? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to blow up. Maybe I shouldn't. That's not. That's not a good idea. Mineable ore. Okay, they're engaged now. No, they're already done. No, 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 no. Oh, they're just too far away. Well, let's go engage with them. The little Metal Gear brrrr, exclamation mark over their head. Okay, and overdrive. Come on. Good. Whoa. Credits. Nice and simple. <laughs> nice and simple. Some light missiles. Good. So we want more of those. Okay, calm down. There we go. And some fuel. That was an easy engagement there. Took us some damage. I will eventually die because of lack of nanobots. <laughs> Which I have a couple now, but... Oh, no, I have none now. Alright, well... Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go to the next zone here. The next area. Oh, I check, there's some, da whoa, 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 some, dan some damage or something. What is this? Oh, my inertia damage. Oh, that's why I kept gliding. That's something actually I have not pointed out yet in this episode. The uh, individual systems can take damage. Uh, if your sensors go out, you're just screwed because you can't tell if you're shooting at a good guy or a bad guy. Uh, you can't see anything on your HUD. You're basically flying blind. It's essentially hard mode. Go to the next area. Man, we are... Yeah, we're lasting a long time without shield. Uh, oh, what is this? Exclamation mark. Natural hazard. Huh. Let's try it. I don't know what that would be. Natural hazard. 
Is this like FTL when you go somewhere and ah sensors impaired? These clouds are made of highly dense and supercharged particles. They are interfering with the sensors. Oh, that is just what I need. Oh man. Video. Am I am I inertia dance? That's why I'm like constantly floating. Just constantly floating. Da -da -da. I can't stop. I, I could just leave. I can actually just leave and go to the next area and just keep on moving. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just end this episode that way. Yes, this is a cloud of stuff. I wouldn't be able to track anything because I'm lacking uh, sensors. Great. We get it. Let's go to the next zone. Let's go to the next zone. Then the next zone. Let's see how far we could get. Let's see if we can get into a place that's just like just balls out. Just crazy fucking action. Keep an eye on your fuel gauge. Oh, there we go. There's we a guy. Elites outlaw. Oh crap, we don't have fuel. Shite. Okay, well that's a problem. These things have fuel on them, but again, if I if I blow these things up, then the uh Oh man, a leak guy sees me. There, there it is, yep. Oh ouch! Oh my inertial tampers don't work! I can't do shit! Oh, how many credits is that? Dude, that's like a K. Oh my god. Oh, Got them both. Oh, wait, what? Did I get both? I can just Oh, you know what it was? That was dis distance. There we go. Fuel. Do I have any nanobots anywhere? Nope, of course not. I'm just gonna <laughs> free floating. Let's take this fuel here. I need enough fuel upper right corner to fill a quarter of that of that bar there. Otherwise, I am not going anywhere. And the best place again to get fuel. Oh, there it is. Credits. Best place to get fuel are these gigantic fuel containers. That again will piss everybody off. I feel like I don't have a choice, but I'm also like completely surrounded by these guys. Okay, he's still, he's still, there we go. Okay, those three guys <laughs> that are only a kilometer away are going to lose their fucking mind the second I start shooting this. But I need the fuel, so I have two of them lined up. Let's get this thing wi winding. Collect! 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 Fuel! Fuel! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Oh, it's still not enough! Go! 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 <laughs> no! 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 Wait! 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 Let's get a screenshot here. <laughs> screenshot mode. I get a thumbnail looking good. Look at this. Look at this. Right over a laser. No! 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 How about how about underneath? There you go. Oh man! Oh man! Oh, dude. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, let's, let's let's see if we get a better one here. Mwah! Hold on. Okay, so before we go there, <laughs> see if we get another screenshot. No, nothing. Okay. Now. <laughs> this is like, this is the end of every Dukes of Hazard, You know, where where it like stops and it pauses and it says, them boys got themselves and him and whatever, whatever he says. And then that's it. So. Let's see if I can get out of this. Oh, nope. <laughs> oh wait, I can get this too. <laughs> oh, I get a good shot of my explosion. Nope, that's it. Done. Finish. <sighs> hey, we did good. Twenty-two minutes. That's perfect. And we came out with a fair amount of cash, an actual fair amount of cash. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I am getting good. Yeah, I could take. I could take pictures. I could take. That's what I heard. Ah, oh, let's see. <laughs> uh, I probably won't even use that for the damn thumbnail. Or maybe I will. We'll see. Uh, so I have enough money to spend on a couple things. Max speed. That's always delicious. Who does not want max speed? Uh, sensor. This is getting expensive. Um, or it does get expensive pretty quickly, so... Ah, uh, let us see. Fuel capacity... I don't know. Let's just throw it in here. We're not gonna do another run for this episode. But for the stream we are! Yep, that's right. 
Let's see, sector scanner, uh, hull, and a bunch of other stuff. So let's go ahead and just one more on that. And then can do no. Oh, so close. What is this? How much is this one? 800. And this one's how much? 500. Okay. So we spend wisely. Spend wisely. Maximize. Maximize. Is there anything for 900? Nope. Oh, wait. But is there a 400? There was a 400 and a 500. And there's a 500 over here, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so this. And then this. Bam. Done. And that's it. So that's Everspace. Currently available right now on Steam for $29.99. And 99 cents. 29 cents is kind of odd. Uh, and uh, it's a pretty good game. Lots of replayability. Lots and lots and lots of replayability uh, already. And they have lots of plans to add more stuff, as you can see already, with ships and and all of that. They obviously have plans to add more things as time goes on. Like every game that's in early access, they all say they're going to bring stuff. Uh, and so hopefully uh, they will actually deliver on that. Because uh, if they don't, I'll make a video calling them dicks. And that's it. So Mike B.A.K. Phony, Indie for Breakfast. We're doing this live. Thank you, chat, for letting me double dip. See you guys later.